Hey Star Wars fans, happy Friday. Hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you've all had a good week. Uh, thanks for tuning into another video. A uh, bit of an unboxing today. I've just had a few packages and stuff arrive this week, so I thought I might as well do a little bit of a bit of a haul video um, and an unboxing because I've uh, just come home to a package from Bulletproof Villain. So we'll take a look at what I got this week. Earlier on the week, uh, I got a little eBay victory. Uh, I got this Jar Jar and the Cardu. For 25 bucks uh, this is pretty awesome um, it came in the box the box had been opened and it's you know it's seen better days but for 25 bucks um, you know I, it, I was still so excited I never had this thing as a kid so uh, yeah this is this is cool I had really <laughs> looking forward to you know just taking a closer look at it and spending a little bit more time and setting it up on my Phantom Menace shelf um, I may even do a quick review on this thing because um, it's nice. I like it. I'm, I'm really on a bit of a Phantom Menace kick at the moment in terms of some of the old toys that I never had. Uh, like I did review the Pod Racer about a week ago. So um, yeah, still on the hunt for some cool Phantom Menace stuff when it comes cheap. Um, so that was my first thing. Second thing came in yesterday. Um, now I was absolutely. I just. This is a bit of a whim purchase. I watched a couple of YouTube reviews because I come across this this particular figure, um, and it is Buzz Lightyear. Not Star Wars related, obviously. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear from a company called Beast Kingdom, um, and this is part of their Dynamic Action Heroes uh, figure line. They've also done a Woody, and uh, you know he's probably about six or s he's probably about seven inches tall, I reckon. He comes with the stand. Yeah, maybe somewhere between six and seven inches tall. Um, articulation's fantastic. Uh, I even had to put the stickers on myself. Um, you know, I would, would have preferred them to be printed, um, but you know, it makes it feel like a real toy. Um, he looks fantastic. He comes with uh, two alternate faces and all the eyes, uh, you know, you can pop off the face and all the eyes, you can change the direction of the way they look. Um, comes with extra changes of hands. There's the box, looks like the their own take of the old classic Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger box. And on the back there, you can pop out the wings and replace them with the actual wings. Um, Cause he does just have the uh, bits on the side there. But this figure is just, I can't stop looking at it, honestly. Um, some changes of hands. He comes with an extra feet so you can display him as Andy's Buzz or Bonnie's Buzz from uh, Toy Story 4. Yeah, extra faces and a really cool stand. So that's it's not something I normally get. I try not to divert too much away from Star Wars, but I came across this thing and just watching reviews, I fell in love with it and had to get it. So, um, you know, it's definitely going to make me want to get the Woody now um, to go with Buzz. That looks cool too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, Toy Story was the second movie I have saw in cinemas as a kid. Uh, the first was Lion King um, that I can remember anyway. So big Toy Story fan, big Pixar fan as well, so I'm excited to have an awesome Buzz Lightyear like that in my collection. Um, you know, take pride of play somewhere, somewhere in here, um, we'll see. Uh, so I did get a, order a couple of figures that I, I almost feel shameful because I said I wasn't going to get them. I uh, picked them up from uh, Zing slash Ibi Games, I just picked them up this afternoon. Yeah, told myself I wasn't going to, but I got the uh, Hoth Han Solo and Hoth Luke Skywalker. Um, I did actually customize my old Luke Skywalker uh, Hoth the other day, and I honestly think it looks better than this one. So, um, but this one looks alright. It's not too bad at all. I might might do a little bit of custom work on this one too. Um, you know, maybe give him the full face wrap like they did with the uh, Vintage Collection 1 uh, quite a few years back now. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'll definitely be doing reviews on both of these figures. Um, particularly just to show the uh, differences between these and the previous releases, which there isn't a lot, but it is what it is. And I'm a sucker, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. That's what I do. Um, so last up... Bulletproof Villain, I love the printing on the box. That's awesome, a little bit of a personal touch. Got my mate Stanley. Stanley here to help me get into it. So let's crack it open. I know exactly what's in here. Like, uh, I had a little bit of uh, store credit, so I just used the store credit to get express shipping. 
um, because I'm an impatient get and I wanted it before the weekend <laughs> so um, yeah I really wanted to have some uh, plenty of content to uh, review and upload for the weekend brand new sticker bulletproof villain this is awesome well I haven't got this sticker yet very nice very very nice indeed so take them out of the box and again beautifully wrapped well taken care of again this is another figure I told myself I wasn't going to buy but I'm just I'm I'm weak I'm a weak individual I uh, talk myself into things and uh, this was one I kind of did say that if I was going to get any of them it would be this one it is the uh, carbonized Boba Fett. Um, this one looks pretty nice. I do have a Boba Fett shrine, so he's going to go straight there. Uh, undecided whether I'm going to open him up or not. Um, I've said that the carbonized thing is a scam, <laughs> and it kind of is. Um, but I kind of really like it in the box. It looks nice. I like the 40th anniversary logo at the top. Um, you know, it looks pretty good in the box. I, I never did see them when they hit out in uh, Big W's uh, here in Australia, so. I missed out there. Um, I did see some stormtroopers, um, so I just thought, you know, there was going to be a time where I need, to, I wanted to find this guy. So, and uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Uh, if I if I do take him out of the box, if I do decide to open it, I will review him. Um, but if not, I'll probably just won't review him. So <laughs> that's that. And last but not least, this is my last little. Last little package for the week. I doubt anything will come in over the weekend. I don't think I'm actually waiting on much now. There's a couple of little things. Uh, that bubble wrap. Yes. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah. Look at him. This is so good. I'm so I'm so excited to have Jar Jar finally. I know he's sort of hit in the US, um, you know, earlier in the month, um, and yeah, he was meant to hit here in Australia last Friday. Um, there's obviously been some delays with Zing, um, and I did have him pre-ordered through Zing. I'll be honest, uh, just went in and cancelled it because I did pick up this one from Bulletproof. So. I'd rather rather my money go to the uh, smaller local business um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled to this one this will be first review off the slate for these new figures first Phantom Menace figures Phantom Menace number one I'm really looking forward to opening this one up and giving it a review so that's my unboxing haul for the week I'm pretty excited um, got new toys to play with and review for the YouTube for the YouTube channel um, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. I hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you've all had a fantastic week. And uh, till my next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.